While COVID cases are indeed falling, the state also reported some disturbing news. Several children, including three infants, have died of COVID since December. And last week, six kids were admitted to the hospital with a severe COVID complication. As senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports, parents of young children who are unable to get vaccinated are counting the weeks until a vaccine is available. I have been wanting to get my daughter vaccinated. Um, I am a firm believer in vaccinations. But Lauren Anderson's four and a half year old Ariel is too young for COVID shots and it's uncertain when a vaccine for kids under age five might get FDA authorization. Meanwhile, Ariel attends pre-K classes with other unvaccinated classmates. And I don't really want to play Russian roulette with my kid. Um, and, it, you know, so it's been hard. That's my biggest fear is that, you know, she'll be that one in a few thousand or one in a million that has an underlying condition that we just did not know about. The latest data from New Jersey health officials are concerning. Health Commissioner Judy Persichelli reported four children have died of COVID since Christmas, three of them infants. Overall, the virus has claimed the lives of a dozen New Jersey kids, eight of them under the age of five. She also says hospitals last Friday reported six children admitted with a severe COVID complication called MISC, the most in a single day and that none had underlying conditions. Persa Kelly advised, I want to remind parents to take all necessary precautions to prevent infants from exposure to the virus. This includes making sure those around your infants are up to date on COVID-19 vaccines and avoid crowded gatherings. We are seeing younger kids coming into the hospital setting and we're talking about kids between the ages of six months to about seven to eight years. Um, we have over the last two weeks seen an increase in the multi-system inflammatory syndrome presentation. Dr. Uzma Hassan says she's seen a 30 to 40 percent increase in MISC cases. Her pediatric practice also noted a spike in so-called long haul COVID amongst mostly unvaccinated kids. It's estimated five to 10 percent of kids with COVID can develop long haul symptoms like fatigue, aches and palpitations, says Dr. Meg Fisher. The most upsetting or the most concerning is this so-called brain fog where you, where you can't really concentrate. Some children can't read at the same level they read before. They can't do mathematics anymore. Their spelling deteriorates. Clinics report both kids and adults with long haul symptoms improve after receiving COVID vaccinations. And when parents with kids under five heard Dr. Anthony Fauci predict last week that the vaccine might be available by February, they cheered. But researchers say it requires a third dose to be most effective for children aged two to four. It's going to take a little longer to get those data to the FDA and approved. My hope, it's that it's going to be within the next month or so. Investigators running the Rutgers pediatric trial will meet with Pfizer officials tomorrow, and former FDA chief Scott Gottlieb sees a longer wait time. You're looking at a timeline when this would get pushed at best, perhaps to into late March, because you'd have to re-adjudicate the data, have an ad com, get the vaccine out into the supply chain. By the time that happens, I think you're looking at a March date, maybe late March. So I don't think this is something that's going to happen in the next month. As a clinician, I would say I can't wait. <laughs> I think the sooner, the better. I'm just happy that it, it's here. It's around the corner. It's coming. Amira al Gunami's four and a half year old daughter who attends daycare isn't vaccinated yet. Her six year old son is. She's more than ready for the whole family to be jabbed and protected. Seeing my son go through and having no issues, really just arm soreness, nothing more than a flu shot, then, you know, I'm, I'm more than confident that when it comes to her turn, it'll be um, pretty much the same exact reaction. And with more kids getting sick, there's a heightened sense of urgency. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.